Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial featuring all Bare Minerals products. I have gathered all of my Bare Minerals products here um, and I'm going to get started. The first thing I'm going to use is the spray primer. Here it is. This is the Prime Time Foundation Primer Original and I love that it's a spray. It is actually like a clear, I'll try to show you, it's on my hand, clear gel. Um, as a primer. It's very interesting. It was my first spray of primer except for like the um, Too Faced primer, what's it called? Too Faced Tangover RX that I like. Um, this is the only other one that I've ever tried that came in a squirt type formula. But I like it. Alright, and then um, I have some Bare Minerals foundations. Um, I have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I have it in 02 Vanilla and 06 Ginger. And then I also have their powder foundation, um, which I do like, but it's not full enough coverage for what I'm looking for today. I really want to try the new Bare Minerals, like Pro, what is it, full coverage something, the new one. Start with this um, Complexion Rescue. I'm just going to put a little bit here on my palette. Just not quite enough coverage, so I'm going to end up doing some other things um, on top of it. If you are not someone who needs a lot of coverage in your foundation, I think you'll really like this. It's like a light to medium coverage, but the finish on the skin is just beautiful. Very natural looking. It's just gorgeous. If you hear my washer running, I'm sorry. If you hear the baby playing with daddy downstairs, squealing, I'm sorry, but this is real life. When you have a five month old, this is what life is like. You know, you're always doing a load of laundry. You're always working on things when she's awake because they start sleeping less and less. Now I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I have it in two shades. I have light and I have medium golden and I really like this concealer, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two for my under eyes. So that's light, it's a little bit light, <laughs> and then I'm going in with medium golden as well. And then this is just a small kabuki brush from Jessup. I know it's a Sigma dupe, I just don't know the number it's a dupe for. I'm just tapping that in place to blend it. going to use the Bare Minerals Ready Touch-Up Veil um, Translucent Powder. It's just a, nothing exciting here, just a translucent powder. And I'm using the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Radiance Wand number 14. I had the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. I have a deluxe size sample of that too. But And I have the Bare Minerals Concealer Correcting Concealer in Medium. I should have used that as well, but I forgot. <laughs> I like that as well. So this is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15 in the shade Medium Tan. So it's a loose powder. I use this as a bronzer, not as a, um, you can see the color. It's a lot deeper than my skin. I use this as a bronzer, not as a foundation. So I'm going in with that same brush I used for my powder. Swirling my brush, tapping off the excess. I think it really does a good job of bronzing. And I like that it's a foundation because it does add just a little bit of coverage. And I always appreciate some coverage. Bare Radiance. It's a loose powder. And I, it's supposed to be like an all over the face kind of powder. And it's really shimmery though. So I can't, to me, I can't use it all over the face. But I just put a little bit on that same brush. And I'm going to put it on the cheek. I think it makes a really pretty glowy kind of blush. Then I'm going in with their Advanced Clear Radiance. This is the all over face color. So I guess you can use it anywhere. But this one is like a pinky um, shimmery kind of thing. And I'm using that with the brush I use for my concealer. And I'm putting that right at the top of the cheekbone. I just think that's really pretty. It's glowy though, so you gotta like glow. If you don't like glow, you won't like that. 
Now I'm using the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream. This is in the shade Must Have Pink. Again, it is Sunday morning. I'm getting ready to go to church and sing. So I always try to look a little bit more natural when I'm going to church because it's not like it's young, you know, wild party goers. It's a lot of families and older people, so I don't need to like have Instagram makeup. You know, I just want to look like myself, but prettier, but kind of natural. So for brows, I'm using this Arch and Define palette. It has um, a highlighter shade and then uh, two different brow shades. Single liner brush by Bare Minerals, but I'm just going to use a little bit of that powder. I'm using the lighter shade right in the inner part of the brows, and then I'm going to use a darker shade on the outer part of the brows. All right, I went ahead and used the white powder in that palette right under the brow bone, and I did one eye. This is the natural eye look I'm going for today. So I used the 5-in-1 um, BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Elegant Taupe. And these are really creamy. Like, you hardly need any of this. So I just put some on the lid there. And I'll use my finger to blend it up into the crease. And I love that this is such a light shade, you know, that you don't need a transition shade on top of it. If you can tell, like, it's just so natural looking, but it's gorgeous. Like, if you look closely, it's kind of gray, but it's like kind of tan, but kind of green, but kind of, it's just very dimensional, I guess you could say. Now I'm using the Shadow Quickie Cream Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Stardust. And this is a little, like, crayon for the eye. And Stardust is like a whitish, metallic-y shade, so I just put a little bit on the inner corner and then a little bit on the, the inner lower third of the lid just to bring a little bit of light to this area. And I tapped it right under the brow bone, one tap for a tiny bit of shimmer there. I don't want a lot, just like, you know, I want to be in control of it. And then I went in with the tiny bit of fun twist on this look and that is with purple liner. It's not that purple, but um, it is the creamiest eyeliner. It's the first time I've ever used it. The creamiest eyeliner I think I've ever used. It's the Bare Minerals Round the Clock 6 p.m. is the name of the shade. Intense Cream Glide Eyeliner. It's waterproof. This is so creamy, guys. Like, I'm barely touching my eyes, and I get, like, a really opaque, pretty line. speak to the longevity of it or any of that but so far so good now I'm going to use this flawless definition mascara it is one of my favorite mascaras ever um, I just recently did a haul of bare minerals eye mystery kit that had 14 um, bare minerals eye products in it and this was one of them and um, I was so excited because I had a mini of this probably like a year or two ago and I really liked it and then I completely forgot about it of course so when I got it in the box, I was like, I remember that. That was so good. I've tried so many mascaras, it's like hard to keep them all straight. But I do remember mentioning this in a favorites video and everything, so I was so excited. But I think this is a really fun look for daytime, for church. Like, I'm not trying to wow anybody. I just want to look like myself, but a little bit better. So I think the cheeks are really pretty. Um, I've got a glow, but it's not like in your face. You don't have like contour stripe, bronzer stripe, blush stripe, highlight stripe. You know, it's just more blended and more natural, a little bit radiant. So this is a look I came up with using all Bare Minerals products. I really like their line. I think their powders are some of the best. Cream shadows never used to be something that I was into, but lately I've realized they're so easy. Um, and the fact that I don't even have to reach for blending brushes with these is awesome. Um, their mascara is really good. That creamy eyeliner was the creamiest. I love their lip glosses. Their Marvelous Moxies. Their creams are so good. Um, they last a decent amount of time. They're a little bit sticky, but that's why they last a while, so I'm okay with that. But um, I want to buy more of their products. I, let me know down below if there are any of their products you recommend, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.